Hey viewers, I'm John. And I'm Maddie. And, and we're, we're the Energy Crew. Crew. So I heard something about cars that can run off of fuel made from plants. And you know a lot about energy and different sources of energy. So putting two and two together, can you tell me more about this? Actually, I can. What you're referring to is called biofuel. In fact, biofuel literally means life fuel, or fuel that comes from living things. And it has become more and more popular in the recent years. All right then, give me the facts. Sure. First off, you're going to learn the two main types of biofuel. The first type is a conventional biofuel, and it's quite simple. These are made from sugar, starches, and vegetable oil. This type is the most popular because it is the one used by cars. Ethanol and biodiesel are in this category. Ethanol? That sounds familiar. Oh, that stuff is used at the gas stations, right? Yes. You might see signs that say 85% ethanol. That means that gas companies have a mixture of unleaded gasoline and ethanol. In this case, 15% unleaded gasoline and 85% ethanol. That's awesome that gas companies do that. They don't have to use as much gas, and they are helping the environment by using a renewable source. Now what's biodiesel? Biodiesel is just the same as ethanol-gasoline mix we are talking about, only it is for diesel engines. It is most commonly used in Europe, but has experienced a huge increase in its use since its introduction. Even Walmart has been getting on this idea with taking the grease from food preparation and converting it to biodiesel and putting it in their trucks. That seems like a very good choice. Yeah, it's amazing. The second type of biofuel is referred to as advanced biofuel. This is made from a more woody type crops and, well, um, animal poop. Why is it called advanced biofuel? That is because the required substances are harder to extract. Ah, I guess that makes sense. This all seems very complicated and quite mind-boggling. Using fermentation, which is a natural plant process, to create byproducts that are then extracted in huge amounts, that is crazy. Is there any other easier way? It is quite funny that you say that, because there is a way. It is referred to as biomass and it is as simple as the other ways to get electricity. How so? It literally is taking dead or dying crops like tree stumps or garden clippings and burning them. Not too good on the emissions, but it is renewable. What is the most common plant to be burned? Wood, because it is so abundant and efficient to burn. In fact, a new source that has recently become popular is using algae. Algae can grow fast and in mass amounts, which would make it better than wood, which takes years and years to grow. Using animal waste is another way to get electricity. That's pretty gross, but I heard some cool things about that. They take animal poop and put a special bacteria on it. These bacteria then convert the waste and give off methane gas. We can then take this methane and burn it, thus creating electricity. It seems like that process would go really slow and not yield as much. That is sadly true. So what's the overall environmental impact that biofuel and biomass cause? Well, scientists are concerned mainly about the usage of the land. And obviously, burning gives off greenhouse gases, but if you combine those two cases, you have a problem. However, there is some hope. If the waste or crops used are from abandoned land, then that is the way to go. Unused land and dead crops is a very good choice. I guess that's good then. Creating electricity this way is not the best way to do it. However, it is a good one. 